This is an introduction to FreeMind, which is mind mapping software. It runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows, and it's free. What I like about it is it's a drag and drop environment that's very intuitive. So here we have a brand new mind map. And what I can do is click on the title here. And what I like to do is type the idea that I'm trying to brainstorm about. So it might be the name of the project, you're doing a game, you're doing a movie, a plot, or brainstorming ideas for something else. We write down the main idea. Then hit tab and you get a new node. And this node would be a parent. I hit tab again to this node, which would be a sibling. That's the way the structure works. Now let's try this. If I go over here, if I'm brainstorming something for a movie or a game, I could have scene and I could have values. And what I'm doing, I hit tab to get a new sibling, but if I hit enter or return twice, um, I can then add a new sibling. And let's see, this would be the opening scene. Let's type that again, opening and ending scene. Now what's nice is I can grab these things and move them around any which way I want. I can also, if I click, they collapse upon themselves or expand depending on what I'm clicking, click once and so on and so forth. I can continue to generate ideas. There's tab. Let's say that I'm going to have characters and then here I would have this. I'm going to hit enter now twice and then I would have this and, and I can have these. And again, I can move these around, promote, demote. If I decided that maybe I wanted to put this stuff underneath here, I can move that around. Or if I wanted to drag this out and put it here, I could do that. So it's very flexible. Everything is clickable and you can move around. The neat thing is once you're ready to export things out, um, you go to file and it gives you numerous options, HTML options, images, PDF files. In this case, I'm going to create a JPEG of this. I'm going to upload it to my uh, Flickr account. I'm going to save it to the desktop. And let's pretend I'm just going to quit out of FreeMind now. And sure, I'll save that. And now let's go over to Flickr and let's upload our file. So I'll click here and I'm going to choose photos, go to desktop, and I can see here's my idea. I click open and I do my normal Flickr stuff. So I could add tags and other things like that. And I'm just going to upload it, make sure it's public, and here we go. Now I uploaded this one and I can see that. Now I uploaded one earlier. I'm going to use this one as an example because it's a little more detailed. What I want to do is embed this into my blog, but I want to have a larger version be clickable in my blog post. So that's something new that we haven't done yet. So check this out. If I click view all sizes, I'm going to grab a larger version like this one. This one is very clear. I can see it really well. So I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to right click, copy image URL. I'm going to go back to my blog post and I have idea one right here underneath the heading. And this is just a bold heading. I'm going to put the graphic and then I have my descriptions for what the idea is trying to share. And I'm going to add media from URL and I paste in just like I've done before. But check this out. I'm going to click on this link to image URL. That means it's going to take me back to the full size version. Then I'll insert it into my post. Now, unfortunately, it puts in the full size version here, but fortunately, I can resize it. I want it to be about 500 pixels wide, and you can see here that I can scroll down. The little numbers there are telling me how wide it is, and I'm going to go to about 500. I will now update my blog post, and I'm going to preview this so I can see what it looks like. And when I preview, you'll notice that I have my title, I have my mind map, and my description. But when I click on the mind map, I get the full size version in a new window, or not a new window, but just in a separate window, I guess. Uh, and I can see all the details if I want to explore it more. That's really handy to do. It's very easy to do when you embed larger images from Flickr. I hope that makes sense. And welcome to mind map. With mind, what am I trying to say? Welcome to free mind, so you can mind map your ideas.